Yeah, I, I said, well, it looks like at least one of us is prepared because you have a all that stuff on a donkey for a little <laughs> mission. <laughs> yeah, he's he's real prepared. It was uh, it was him. heavy. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so what's the next plan of action? We're gonna meet up with that austere guy or something. He just kind of wandered off. You know, I don't like yeah, bosses yeah. to wander. He, he did say he'll meet you tomorrow at the tavern. Mm. And mm. you should take this day to prepare. Well, I'm feeling pretty prepared. I don't know about you guys. Maybe we yes. should go to a tavern and lie low. I mean, uh, you know, just kind of chill for a bit. Is it possible I could sneak in one more thing to buy? Yeah, we're at a market. You go ahead. What are you looking for? Right. Just maybe Hitler's kit or something. You never know. Oh, an, uh, followed. Um, one and I point across the Still market. Still want to go shopping. A million miles away. All right. Yeah, all right. I'll just move you all over that way. That way. Okay. <laughs> There's an outpost. That way. Ooh. There's jump one. Man, we're moving fast. <laughs> it's like the hand just... of God. Somebody comes down. Clearly, it's not meant for us to be captured. <laughs> yeah, man, Dan, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm, if, it, if that's how it works, I hope I'm meant to make a lot of money. So you guys get to the area where all the alchemists are hanging out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you notice that it looks like she just started putting up wanted posters because um, they're not here in the northern part of the uh, market yet. Oh, cool, good. Otherwise, I was going to step pointlessly in front of Rand, even though I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I can't remember. Is Rayan one of the tallest ones in this group? I'm five four. I don't know how tall Lana is. I mean Lane. Sorry, dyslexia. Let me see. Well, I made myself. I think I'm taller than you, but I might be the same. Five one. Yeah, you're taller than me. Wow. <laughs> that was great. Wow. Wow. There's like no one over like five eight in this group. Nope. Yeah, we're good short. job. We're, you are the short group. We there's, are. There's nothing I can do about it. In fact, oh, yeah. I'm, so, I'm kind of tall for a halfling. <laughs> you know, Rian, maybe you should wear a hat or something. I was thinking about getting a cloak or something. You know, I think I think I think a hat would suit you. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe a hooded one. Can't see your face. Be yeah. handy for the moments. You know. A merchant pipes up. Oh, if you're looking for hoods. I do have a brother who's in the market. Oh, yeah, he's got a brother who's in the market. All right, where's your brother at? Uh, he's across the way at the other end of the fountain. It's where most of the uh, people uh, go for textiles, other than the uh, rare or export place. Oh, yeah, them rarer, you know, all their exotic goods and, and nonsense, spices. Oh, hey, what do you think, Rian? You want to go grab a hood? You want to grab some potions? You want to go back to the tavern? You know, I'm. Uh, if you are, yeah, I if you are looking for potions, I have potions. You're breaking up. I'm so sorry. Oh, am I? Yep. Um, I, I can hear you. Hello. I can hear. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Hi. Merchant said, um, "If you're looking for potions, I have potions." Yeah. Do you, by any chance, have a healer's kit? Why, yes. Yes, I do. How much? And, uh... That's a good question. Uh, the... For eight gold. Eight gold? Are you kidding for a healer's kit? I, I can Now, who's, who's buying this kit? You or the lady? <laughs> well, she's buying the kit, but I'm not gonna stand by and let someone get ripped off. Eight. I mean, th this is a premium kit. It comes with oh. a little extra. Yeah, premium. Yeah, that's code for you put it in a nice box. Let's be honest here. 
And there ain't gold that's a little steep. You know, we're here to make a deal. We're customers. We want to buy something, but you know, it's a big market, and I'm sure there's somebody here who's not selling a healer's kit for eight gold. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if this healer's kit actually is something special, or try to by running by rolling medicine. Is that good? Yeah, uh, you can either do medicine or investigation. Uh, yeah, you've seen a bunch of healer's kits in your time. Mm -hmm. And um, this one looks. This one, this one looks a little bit nicer. I mean, Horatio might be right about it's in a nicer box than usual. Can mm. I roll persuasion to get a better price to get to get Rain a better price for it? Uh, oh yeah. All right. Coming out. <clears throat> let's, let's let's settle here. You know, it's a big market. A lot of healers' kits. I don't think a gold. I don't know about that. You know. Oh, no, it's just going to say, yeah, it doesn't seem like anything too special to me. Yeah. It's just the healer's kit. You know, it's not a golden unicorn. Okay, I'll, I'll knock the price down. Five gold. What do you think, Ryan? You cool with that? That's about a fair price, I'd say, maybe. Yeah, you know, I think it's a fair price. All right. Now, yeah. I don't suppose you're interested in trading it in for any, um, uh, High tier jewelry. Ooh. Looks like the jewelry and then looks kind of this way. We originally got the jewelry. And I, I, I laugh. I laugh as if I'm making a joke. Yeah, I, I, I would like the gold. Thank you. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our little joke. <laughs> and I look at Rayanne like, give him the money already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so you exchange the money, you get the metal me, uh medicine kit. Um Are you looking for anything else like health potions? I got health potions. Oof, hmm, health potions. How much you charging for those things? Well, they don't come cheap, I can tell you that. Oh, of course they don't come cheap, because you put them in a nice pot. No, because they're hard to make. Oh, of course they are, yeah. Mm. How, much are you, how much are you charging for this, these fancy potions of yours? Well, for you guys, special offer. Mm -hmm. 45 piece. 45 what? <clears throat> Gold. Gold? For a health potion? Um, I would like to pull out one of my bottles of color liquid and use deception to convince him that it's a health potion. And tell him, I got this. Oh, do it. Do, do your deception roll. All right. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Deception's one of my, one of Horatio's specialities. That and sleight of hand. All right. So what's what's the uh, what do you lay on him? I I tell him hey, I got this bottle for 15. And I pull out one of those colored bottles of colored liquid you gave me after I designed the character. <laughs> they they look at it. They look at it oddly. I just, I want to hide it, like, after I whipped it out. Like, you know, like, flashing a fake card, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know. 15's really cheap. Are you sure that isn't watered down? Well, I don't know if it's watered down. It may be a little bit, but I can't imagine a full one going over 25. Uh, they take out a health potion, which looks uh, different. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feared. And um, they're like, listen, I don't know who's selling you them for 15, but they're going to go out of business within a week. Mm -hmm. oh. The lowest I'll go is 30. I, uh, I know it's Horatio. All right. <clears throat> Wait, what did you say? I, I nudge you. Yeah? With my elbow. And I talk quietly. I could try and see if the alchemist I talked to earlier would let me have the same deal or maybe something similar than before. Um... And I give him a thumbs up, and I want to keep stalling this person while he goes and, well, rather, or rather Lane goes and does that. Okay. I suspect I could probably 
get health potions close to 25 or 30. But you'd have to hand me the gold and I'd go talk to her. Mm -hmm. I don't really want you haggling with her, to be honest. Right. Horatio has a thing where he doesn't like giving people money unless they're giving him something. Uh Uh, You know what? How certain are you of this being a bargain? What are you thinking you're getting it for? Like I said, I'd hope to get them for 30 or less each. Okay. You know what we're going to do? You know what you're going to do? I'm going to pay 30 here. And I'm going to give you 30. And I expect some of that 30 to be left over when you come back. <laughs> I, I, and this is me trusting you. This means nothing from Horatio, by the way. This is me trusting you, okay? You know, because I think you're a good, you're a good sport. Her eyebrows are just up in unamusement while you're talking to her like this, like she's a child who's going to steal daddy's ice cream chain. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone when, when and I'm just looking money. at him with a scowl, just remembering about the costume jewelry. Okay, so hold on. I got to do a little head math. I'm not good at this. Um, um, especially when I'm on the spot. 200 minus 15, that's 85. Okay, so um, 380. 15 on um, minus 30 that's 285 so i give I'm, i give lane 30 gold with m- great um apparent pain <laughs> and i i want to turn to the shopkeeper okay i'll take one of those potions for 30 okay and uh they wait for you to set that 30 on the All counter right. um oh before i do that um now are you interested in Actually, no, wait, no, this is too close. That's right. Oh, um, I'm not going to do that. Um, this is too close to the other jeweler. I almost did it again. Um, I'm going to die. I'm going to die in this universe. Okay. You're doing okay. fine, man. You're doing fine. Okay, so this is going to leave me with, with... If I take the 30 from 80, it's going to leave me with 50. Okay, so I set the money down. Yep, and they take the money and give you the uh, health potion. Thank you. Do I... Ne- okay, I marked that as health potion in my inventory. Yep. All right, I'm carrying 50 pounds, by the way. Actually, no, I'm carrying 79 pounds. Is that okay, since I'm a dwarf? Uh, probably. Um, How much does the health potion so weigh? Should I note that? It's a half pound. Okay. Is that uh, 79 yeah. pounds, including the tent that you're carrying? Yes, I'm carrying your tent for you. Come <laughs> on. It's that nice. Um, I'm surprised you haven't given it to the mule. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, you know, I may have reasons. Um, uh, dang it, my, my, my roll 20 froze up again. Anyway, well, I'm good. Thank you for doing business. It's a pleasure doing business. You know, I like seeing a sensible business person. I'll spread the word in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell some folks, just... you know, this is where you get your potions, you know? Yeah. It's a nice Thank place. You. Thank you. And if you go see my brother, I'm pretty sure you can find that hood. Absolutely. Or whatever. We'll you remember. This place got the Anvil Thumper seal of approval. You know, very pre- prestigious family. You know. He now, thinks for he thinks for a moment. I'm gonna roll a history check right now. Oh no! Dang it! I shouldn't have name dropped. Horatio always talks too much. Nah, he <laughs> he doesn't know. He's like, yeah, Anvil <laughs> Thumper, weird uh, dwarf name. Good job, yeah. Very prestigious among the dwarves, yeah. And then I'm going to wander casually off to the way Lane went. Walking a little right. quicker than usual because someone else has my money. <laughs> All right, let's 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 switch to Lane. And right. while he was doing that, you go up to the woman. I believe she was like right there or something. She was... She was pretty. She was like, yeah. Anyways, yeah. over here, I would, I would wave for Horatio. I'd point her out and halt Horatio, tell him to stay behind. <laughs> wait, 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 I can't be there. I won't say a word. I just want to make sure you know I'm not exactly in the habit of giving people money for free. Um, the the lady behind the counter looks at you and smiles, and she looks at Horatio. He's Apparently yelling. Yeah. Oh yeah. A friend of yours? <sighs> no. Not a friend. 
No. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly friends. This is this is in Sylvan at this point, so you probably have yeah. no idea what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna stand there looking like I'm just gonna stand there looking cool, casual, because yeah. Horatio is a very good liar. Basically, they're talking super pretty, and it almost sounds like a song, <laughs> but they're communicating somehow. Horatio's got kind of one eyebrow raised. Like, he likes this, but he doesn't trust it. But, so yeah, she's now not a friend. Um, but he did give me some money um, in case I was able to get another potion. Um, you cut me an amazing deal earlier. I do not expect the same deal now. Um, but I am wondering if I'd be able to get another minor healing potion and how much you would charge for it. I think the 25, I, was it 25 the last time? 20. 20? Mm -hmm. I think the 20 I charged you last time is good for the favor you did. I, I'm, that's so kind of you. I will be back. <laughs> well, if I live through this mission. <laughs> and I laugh. And... She laughs too, because this is like, a usual thing for this town. People come here, ventures come here, and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm hunting out bears. I'll, I'll see you if I ever come back. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And uh, I give her 20 gold. Yeah, and she gives you the uh, health potion, and you have the 10 gold of Horatio's left. Yeah. Horatio looks surprised. <laughs> and uh, I thank her, um, and I give her a very courteous very uh like formal elven goodbye and a wish farewell and that we'll see each other again um in whole body and health kind of thing you know like yeah that whole the whole spiel and and then i i walk back over to the group i have not i i'm basically ignoring horatio at this point. Horatio's gonna walk <laughs> next to you looking expectant <laughs> yeah like it like it like a puppy and i have its ball and also a treat <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere between puppy and the ball and um, uh, wolf and the food kind of thing. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I come back to the group. And um, we need to get deal. this hat. I, I hope to change and the minor healing potion in my hands in front of the group and say, kindness can get you a lot better deals than being a shyster. Oh, who burned you the tangled and the minor healing potion? And then I walk, walk towards the inn, all cool. So, like she's young. I just want to look at the other two and like explain she's young. So, you're going back to the uh, uh, the inn, tavern, whatever. I'm just heading this way. Okay, okay, I have my tangled back. That was awesome, by the way. Um. <laughs> so yeah, um, you follow the directions that the um, merchant said his brother was, and is it all three of you heading down that way, or all four of you, or I'm, I'm following? I'll go uh, with. They, if they I'm, start I'm... heading away. I'll join up with them. I'm Please a little bit like, wary. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll just move you all, you guys, at <laughs> the right. same time because it's gonna just be. I don't know where we're going, but I'm but Rachel's and, following. Uh... I think we're going back in the danger zone. And Nork okay. is a little bit wary about, you know, finding out that there was a wanted poster. So, I roll a reception, or per reception, perception to see if I um, notice any more wanted posters for yes, Ryan. Yes, please go ahead. Um, you don't see any in this area. Um, I'm okay. gonna roll two. Okay. Could I two? Like because I. Yeah, I'd remember. imagine I'd be pretty freaking nervous if I you, saw one. You all can. Um, Horatio's too distracted, jangling the money in his hand thoughtfully. <laughs> Nineteen. Okay. Uh, you don't see wanted poster, but you do see your pursuer. Oh, freak. At, oh. at, like, the very other end of the market, you can see the shine of her elven armor. And she looks like she stopped, and she's not, like, really looking for you, but she does, you know, she is holding, you know, one of the posters in her hand and talking to a merchant, and the merchant actually takes it. 
You know, maybe we should head back to the tavern now. Let's get put. Let's and make this have... quick. Could yeah. be my luck. They find me in other places. If you'd like, I can buy you the hood. It, that's your call. <laughs> Especially, how nice of a hood would you like? Uh, just something to hide the face. <laughs> as long as it doesn't completely clash with everything and doesn't look like garbage, I'm fine. Just head to the tavern. I'll catch up. I could oh. walk a little faster than you. All right, I want Horatio's gonna lag behind a bit, and he's gonna look a little awkward. He's like, you know, my grandmother used to always tell me she had this thing she always told me. I, I never, I never could could remember it word for word. It's something about, you know, when uh, when someone helps you, you know, you you give them a little extra or something. I don't, I don't know the words, but uh, you know, you cut a really nice deal. I want you to, yeah, you know, I think, I think you should have this. And Horatio's cheap, so he only gives you five of the ten gold you returned. <laughs> He doesn't accept it. He doesn't? No. no. It's like, Horatio, I'd rather you learn that kindness can get deals. I don't need your gold. Horatio just kind of shrugs and just walks off. Yeah. <laughs> no, look at me, you're lost. You don't want the money, okay. Yeah. You don't, like, I don't really get you, but whatever. Talking to a wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Horatio just, it just bounces off his head. He's like, I do not know what you're talking about, but... Whatever. More so, money than me. So Horatio and Ran are heading back to the tavern. Woo! Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Nork? Nork is kind of... He's he's gotten to, to know Horatio and Ran a little bit, but st still not really sure about Lane. Kind of, kind of decides to stick around and... and See what? Yeah. Nork Nor just sort of Nork walks up to walks over by Lane and just says, "So you're with the group as well?" <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I and... did accept the job to help escort the mage. And your name? Lane. And Lane. yourself? Norik. Nice to meet you. You're the only other person who doesn't seem to be trying to make a profit while we're out here. Uh, I think so far I've done okay at, at least not spending too much. <laughs> it doesn't really look like the uh, typical adventuring type. That I would have expected to be working with. Uh, I've I've had my share of, I guess you could say, adventure. Um, some of which I had to avoid, but now I think it's time to get back into it. <laughs> Destiny calls. Indeed, it does. And uh, with that, I'll, I'll look at one of the merchants that has a generic variety of hoods. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that quickly, and then we'll take a break. Um, All right. So you come up according to the directions that the one alchemist said. And um, this guy has a tent by himself, which is a little unusual. Um, it's open just in the front, and it is literally a cave of clothes. Clothes are hanging from the ceiling and from racks, and he's uh, kind of standing in the middle of it, um, talking to a maybe a middle-class lady who's buying, like, some something. It's all folded up, so you can't really tell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I uh, I just look around to see if there's anything inconspicuous in this store, or if it's all very flashy. Um, 
or what kind of variety of clothes he has? Do you want me to uh, roll for that, or is it? Yeah, that? give me an investigation. Okay. Um, it looks uh, nothing looks too flashy. There's a lot of utilitarian clothing here. Mm -hmm. Um, it, as I said, the lady looks middle class that's in there who's buying like something it looks maybe like uh not sheets but um swatches of like cloth maybe for a quilt who knows gotcha. and uh she exits yeah and there's you know it looks nice but it's you know not too flashy got it <clears throat> Well, I politely wait until he's finished talking with that customer while I kind of look around at the different adornments. Um, Norik is uh, looking he, in the children's Jesus, section. Jesus. Oh. Go ahead. Huh. Norik is looking in the children's section. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably um, have halfling clothes and stuff, too. Uh, the merchant excuses himself from the lady, and he, he says to Lila, I will talk to you later. It looks like I have some customers. Uh, sir, I do have halfling clothing over here. You don't have to look in the clothing, the children's section. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Norik <laughs> just walks over to the, <laughs> the direction <laughs> indicated. It's probably like the big and tall halfling <laughs> section for you, too. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it's, it would probably be like fat kid clothing, but, you know, <laughs> it's just better to stay halfling. Uh, some kid walks into the tent some days and is like, why are we in the halfling section, Mom? <gasps> um, <laughs> and, um, so anyways, the merchant turns the lane and uh, actually gives a very proper elven greeting. Well, I reciprocate and smile. Genuinely. Yep. It's nice, such a nice greeting so far away from home. <clears throat> well, I find that many travelers come here to clothe themselves and to maybe feel at home. I can't say I have anything luxurious, but I do have comfortable things. Well, and he uh, he actually takes out a um. Kind of like a poncho, and like holds it out so you can feel it. And I'm assuming it seems like it would hold up and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he starts explaining about how a lot of this stuff is, you know, uh, woven from the local sheep and alpacas and, mm -hmm. or other animals that have woolly stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Really hairy goats, you know. Yeah. Mm. So most of your. Uh... Adornments are made from wool, then. Yes. Very natural. Well, I have a friend that I'm here shopping for, and they are trying to find something comfortable to wear around that also covers, or at least veils, their face to some degree. Do you have anything like that? Ah, uh, it sounds like someone has sun sensitivity, and he yeah. kind of gives you a wink. Yeah, I definitely grin at that. <laughs> um, and he takes out this, like, it's kind of a grayish purple cloak mm -hmm. with just this nice large hood that, like, shadows the face. It almost looks like part of the hood is rigid, so it kind of acts like a... Stays. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Oh, that looks perfect. And how much is that? Oh, three gold. And, um, you know, she'll she'll kind of investigate it and um, make sure it's, like, the right height and everything. Uh, the person's just a bit taller than me. <clears throat> and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like he lets you try it on. It mm -hmm. uh, doesn't hang too low on you. I mean, it's it it would be a good fit for either you or Rayanne. Cool. Hmm. 
Well, for such a nice cloak, I'll try this investment. Three gold. Yeah. I'll hold up to the invest uh, to this adventure. <clears throat> if so, I hope it got me a discount in the future. And she just hands him three gold. Yeah, he takes it and hands over the uh, hooded cape and uh, looks at Nork. Uh, mm. Do you do you need any help, sir? And Nork, uh, after having sorted through the cloaks, kind of rustling through, sl sliding them one through the next to the next. Sees one, pulls it out, tries it on. Says, yeah, it's uh, it's a nice fit. I mean, um, it actually has like drawstrings on the side just in case uh, someone is a little bit more pudgier or gets pudgier. <laughs> um, it, like it is, it is definitely uh, like clothing made for halflings, especially halflings who may want to enjoy themselves in life and keep their clothing. <laughs> Norix is. And this one? Oh, that's that's four. I know there's a, a bit of difference, but since we uh, make sure that clothes for halflings can adjust, um, it takes a little bit more time and effort. Uh, Norix stops and thinks for a moment, looking at the cloak. Okay. He pulls out four. Okay. And now, now you have a very nice cloak. Is it a hooded cloak too? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a hooded cloak too. Okay. Maybe not as rigidly hooded, so obscuring, but you know something comfortable. Yeah. And uh, he asks both you. That is all, or if you uh, need to have more help? I think I'm done here. Cool. Shall we catch up with the others? That sounds fine to me. Oh, and I do have um, ponchos for mules, too, just in case you are taking that lovely-looking mule uh, up into the mountains ever. Uh, Norik stops and, and looks back and, and looks at the mule and <sighs> Norik kind of likes this mule. <laughs> Herbert. Herbert's a wonderful mule. Yes, Herbert yeah. Herbert is Herbert is a good mule. It's already a little bit of an attachment here. Um Aww. Uh Darn it, no, Norik uh speakers goes to investigate the, the mule cloak. And, yeah, uh, it's it's more like a poncho. It goes around its neck and covers most of the back. It's, okay. it's definitely definitely something to like not only protect the donkey but protect any goods that you might have on mm. on the mule. So Keep fairly mule fairly on. uh makes sense. It's fairly utilitarian. Thinking about the journey ahead. For once, <laughs> no, Norik. Uh, how about? Uh, let's see. Norik asks, "How much?" You know, since you've already bought something, and I can see true companionship between your donkey, well, your mule, and you. Um, I'll sell you this for two gold. Two. Two is worth it. <laughs> he doesn't even think, doesn't think for very long on that one. For himself, eh. But for for Herbert, oh, he'll, he doesn't anything, need to think too much. Anything worth it for Herbert. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lane thanks him as well for that deal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, N Norik, uh, Norik doesn't think to, to say thank you. But graciously Lane. accepts. <laughs> <laughs> He's just too enthralled about yeah. how good Nork will look. Well, okay. and, will look in this little cloak. And Nork's gonna go over and, and put the uh, put the poncho on Herbert and and pet Herbert and be like, hey there, how, how's that? <laughs> Herbert looks pretty happy. Herbert the happy oh. mule. 
Yep. The new best-selling children's book. Um, and before Lane exits, she'll actually don the cloak and uh, wear that back to the tavern. Yeah, it's All a right. really nice cloak. Break it in a bit, you know? I hope so for three gold. It looked, it just sound really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, he does have more, and he, he does assure you that, you know, if you ever need a cloak of your own. Yeah. Yeah. She'll probably be back if she lives and likes the cloak. And he also uh, directs you. He tells you that um, if you can't find him here during the day, he does have a uh, a studio that's in the Artisan District. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll watch for you there. Thank you. All right, Norik is is gonna um, attempt to ride Herbert. <laughs> Give me an animal handling deck. <laughs> dun dun dun! Oh, Ooh. this is gonna be hilarious. You know, riding a mule—they're they're not really animals that you can ride. And Herbert definitely tells you straight away that no, dude, it's not cool. <laughs> well, not verbally, but you know. We don't. We don't. All right, all right. <laughs> Norg is gonna say. Uh, Norg's gonna pet Herbert and say, uh, "Sorry, sorry. Maybe not yet." Herbert. Let's try this like again. He... Let's try this again sometime, though. Herbert looks like he accepts your apologies. <laughs> you even swear he nods at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we have Herbert in this party. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, I, would laugh. My favorite character. <laughs> I would laugh if it's like total party kill except for the donkey. Yeah. yeah. I hope Herbert lives no matter what happens. Yeah. We can all die, yeah, but as just... long as Herbert lives. If, thing, if things go wrong, I'm just gonna. Nork's just gonna shout. Run, Herbert, run! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the like the pony in, in, in Lord of the Rings, so they send him back. 